All right, so since it was so heavily requested by you guys, I'm just kidding, nobody requested it. <laughs> this is gonna be three more things I didn't like about living in Japan. And I am really nitpicking here because you know, I loved everything about Japan. So it's kind of hard to choose like all things I didn't like because everything I didn't like, I, I, I got used to and it became like no problem for me. But anyway, number one is recycling. So this one isn't really a big deal, but you know, when I first started living there was like a huge inconvenience. When you're throwing out your trash, you gotta recycle. You know, you gotta recycle your plastics, your, you know, your paper, your burnables, your, you know, stuff like that. You gotta separate everything and throw it out on a certain day. For example, you know, like Tuesdays and Thursdays would be throw out your plastics. And like Mondays would be like your burnables, you know, stuff like that. But it was kind of annoying because if you didn't recycle properly and you didn't recycle in the proper bag, like there was like certain bags, like there'll be yellow bags and like clear bags. And in other cities, there'll be like more colors, like green bags. Well, anyway, if you didn't throw like the proper trash in the proper bags and then throw it out on the proper day, the trash man is not going to take it. So, I mean, you have to recycle, like you don't really have a choice. And if you decide not to recycle and just throw everything in one bag like i'm just gonna throw everything here like in this white clear bag and then you throw it out to like the outside trash the trash man is not gonna take it they're gonna grab your bag and put like a big red x on it and not take it and leave it there so then you're gonna have to like take it back into your room and like sort through it so you know that's kind of embarrassing you don't want to go through that so you have to learn how to recycle properly it was stressful for me at first because i didn't know how to recycle properly like yo does this go here does this go here can i throw this in the burnables i had to constantly ask my japanese friends like yo where do I throw this you know like I asked them a lot of questions so yeah recycling it is definitely something you have to get used to but it isn't so bad once you kind of understand like the concept of how to recycle and stuff like it took me like about I want to say like about a month to get used to it not a big deal but yeah recycling kind of an inconvenience because you know here in America you can just throw everything in one bag and boom out to the trash man nobody cares right but you should care about recycling you know that is very important but yeah that was one thing the second thing I didn't like about living in Japan would have to be the post office now you know I did did send some packages to my family back home in America or here in America and I didn't realize like how complicated the post the postal service in Japan is now kind of has to do with like um the work ethic and like how professional Japan is about everything for example when it comes to work ethic like I worked at Wendy's and at Wendy's you know when I would make a hamburger um you look at the manual the instruction manual and it says you know you're gonna put like three pickles on the hamburger but they would teach us like you know just grab like a pinch full of pickles and throw it on there and you know the french fries you have to throw the french fries out every 20 minutes if they're in like the, the heater you know people don't do that here like in America you know you go to McDonald's you know your french fries are stale you're like all right that's been out for like an hour you know but in the handbook it says you're supposed to throw it out every 20 minutes when well, Japan they follow the rules they follow the handbook so if you get your hamburger that hamburger is gonna have three pickles if you get your fries those fries are gonna be fresh if you see like you know Japanese people working every 20 minutes they do throw out the french fries so they do follow the exact same rules by the handbook when it comes to the post office now the complicated part about that is here in America when I go to the postal office and i want to send something to my international friends international abroad you know i put some stuff in there um they give me a paper and they're like yo just put down what's in there i'm like all right um there's a toy and some candy you know and there's one of each bum bum they read it all right one toy one candy cool send it out you're on your way you're out of there like in 10 minutes man you know just fill out that quick form you're done boom you're paid you're out of there 10 minutes tops in japan they follow the rules they follow the handbook so if i go in there with my box i'm like all right I have one toy and one candy in there. They're gonna give me the paper and they're gonna be like, all right, listen, you're gonna be specific with the toy. What kind of toy? Does it have any electronics? What kind of candy? Um, how much does each item weigh? You know, you gotta weigh every item individually. How much did each item cost you? And then they give me like this form and I gotta fill all this stuff out. Like, all right, I gotta weigh it out. And then um, when they put the box like on the on the, on the the weight scale, like, it's gonna match like exact, the exact weight of what you put down. So you're gonna be like very exact, you know? It doesn't sound that complicated but once you're in there you'll see like damn this this is taking really long like the first time i went with my friend with my american friend we were there for like three hours dude like just trying to fill out all this paperwork because we didn't understand you know we just brought the box and next thing you know we're like weighing everything taking everything out of the box um you know looking at everything like the packaging you know like the price um, we were there for three hours so it took us a while so the next time that i went to the post office you know i was prepared with the weights and everything but the thing is i put like in the box i was sending my brother like a, a little pokeball toy that kind of like, like when you throw it it shakes and i don't know if it's because it has magnets in there i 
pretty sure it's because it has magnets in there. So anyway, I, at that time, I wasn't sure if it had like batteries or what, it, like the reason it shook, you know, I don't know if it was because of batteries or because of magnets. I don't know. I just put the toy in there. I filled out the form, the weight, the price. I gave it to the poster person. You know, I was prepared, you know, I was prepared with the weights. I was prepared. The Japanese postal worker looked at me and they're like, uh, does the Pokeball have batteries in it? And I'm like, I'm not 100% sure if it has batteries or not, but it does shake, but I'm not completely sure. So they looked at each other and they opened the box, took out the toy. They grabbed the toy, they called the company number on the back of the toy, you know, they called the number. Um, they they were all talking in Japanese, so they looked at the toy. There was a number on the back, they called the number, so they called the, the toy manufacturer. And then they called, like, I guess, like the post office, like their superiors, the boss, and they were asking questions. And they went on the phone for like half an hour, and I'm like, dude, it's just a toy, dude. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any batteries in it, but they wanted to be 100% sure because they didn't, they didn't want to break any rules. You know, everything had to go by the book. So so even though I was prepared, I was still there for like two hours, man, you know, just waiting for them to like make all these phone calls just for like some Pokeball, you know? I guess one last example of like how complicated it is at the postal, postal office in Japan and how like I guess professional and by the book they go is my friend Shay, shout out to Shay. You know, she was mailing some stuff back home, you know, she had everything prepared before going to the post office. Like, all right, I'm going to weigh everything. I'm going to get the price, have everything prepared, you know, go get a, the form from the post office ahead of time, fill it out, chuck it in there you know get to go you know we don't want to spend that much time at the post office you know she was out of there in 30 minutes man she was prepared you know she was good she was good to go the first time she went she was in there for like three hours and they didn't take her stuff but the second time no she was prepared she was good to go well anyway a couple days later uh, maybe the next day because you know when you when you're filling out the form you gotta put down your japanese phone number well me and my friend shay we didn't have a japanese phone number so we used our friend sayano a japanese local and we put down her phone number well anyway a couple days later or like the next day uh sayano she received a phone call from the post office saying that her and Che have to go to the post office blah 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 what's the problem they go to the post office and pretty much they said like they send the package to do the scanner and there was an item in the box that Che had that was not either not written down on the on the form or there was too much of it you know it was like lotion or something I don't remember man but anyway um they pretty much um called her the next day and you know she had to go over there take out the item either write it down weigh it or you know just keep it with her you know I don't know but they, they, they made it very complicated and just like come on just just send it it's just like a little lotion dude it's not a big deal but but you know they're professionals they gotta go by the book they gotta follow the rules and that's one thing i didn't really like is just the postal service man too complicated for me man spend too much time at the post office over there and you know here in america you know they just take it you out in 10 minutes dude yeah, but yeah this is my long rant about the post office sorry for talking so much about it but i just had to let you guys know how frustrating it is dealing with the postal service over there all right, the third thing is a simple one. It is sarcasm. Japanese people aren't really about the sarcastic life. So, you know, they don't really understand sarcasm or like the funny, you know, when you're trying to be funny and you're being sarcastic, they don't get it, you know? They have like their own way of being funny. They have their own jokes that I don't really like understand yet, you know, like Japanese humor. So if you're being sarcastic, they're not gonna get it. They're gonna think you're serious, right? I learned from my Japanese friends, like if I'm being sarcastic, always follow it by joking. Oh, by the way, I'm joking, you know, like, I'm I'm just joking i'm just so i always have to say i'm joking because they're not gonna get the sarcasm so i have to always finish it off with oh by the way i am joking you know when me and my friend shay the girl i was just talking about earlier um we always talk shit to each other you know like oh shay you know you're such a loser you're you know you know stuff stuff like that you know our friend our japanese friends will be like yo like why are you guys calling each other that like that's really like not, not cool you know it's like no no we're just being sarcastic dude we're just messing around our friends wouldn't get us sometimes we had to explain so anyway um sarcasm getting used to not being sarcastic around my japanese friends was something i had to learn because i love being sarcastic so i went around my japanese friends i had to hold back the sarcasm or clearly say that i was joking about something so yeah sarcasm not really a thing in japan and yeah something i learned and something again like i said i had to get used to so yeah there you go three more things i didn't like about living in japan i want to say that i didn't really like hate them or anything just you know inconveniences dude but to be honest dude at the end of the day i love japan and if i had to make a list of like 20 things or 100 things i love about japan I could talk about Japan and how much I love it all day, every day, right? So anyway, there is this video, you know, hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, you know, let me know, drop a like, drop a comment. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.